Welcome to my wolf pack and welcome to the LDL Mega Week 9 battle. Now this is the last battle that you are going to see for the LDL Mega Season 1. I might be back in Season 2, who knows. We will see what happens. But we are going to try and go out with a bang. Um, this is my team, go check out the team build if you haven't done so already. Um, I'm not sure if Squid has any links, but if they do... They will be down in the description, so go check those out if they are there. If they're not there, then assume they do not have a channel or anything. But, yeah, we're going to get started. I'm really nervous. Um, Squid 100% is going to be going all out in this match. Uh, because realistically, realistically, this makes a di could make a difference for them. <clears throat> if they win 2-0 against me. So if they win 2-0 against me, and then um, Pichu, who we battled last week loses even by one game um if they yeah if they lose even if it goes for a third game squid gets the eighth spot and the eighth spot takes you to the quarterfinals so squid in the right scenarios could be in a playoff position however i am not i'm guaranteed to not be in a playoff position <laughs> like 100 percent, i cannot make playoffs like um it's impossible even if i beat squid i am still below squid um but yeah i'm currently 10th and squid is 9th um and 8th is where you get your look to the quarterfinals so yeah it's gonna be pretty pretty interesting um to say the least right now um i'm sure they are nervous because obviously this is this is more important for them 100 percent um i don't know if they're like just saying nope not gonna even gonna bother playoffs or i'm just gonna see what happens um i think it's best always to say just see what happens um, but I've actually really enjoyed this season, even though our win streak hasn't been particularly good. Um, I have gained some experience. I think my team wasn't really working as well as I wanted it to. Uh, I think part of that is picking it up like when week four or something, um, when opponents had got used to their teams already. So, you know, I think that was a, a small part of it. The other part of it was my synergy wasn't really on. But, you know, I think... In, especially in the last two games, um, I think that we've been showing ourselves a bit better because we have been getting to that third game. We've been showing that we can do this, that we are working hard. Well, not not necessarily hard, but we are able to do this. And yeah, I don't, don't know really what I'm talking about anymore, but we are going to try and get on with this battle. Um, I'm assuming they're just putting their mons together um, because... That's sometimes what you need to do. Sometimes I forget. Um, in fact, I had to quickly change my Pelipper because it, had, it needed a minor speed nature. And for some reason, I completely forgot to put the nature in when I was um, putting it onto Showdown. So, yeah, I, I re regen it. Obviously, we gen for these leagues, which is, is just, like, it's widely known. Like, um, to participate in these kind of leagues, you cannot breed Pokemon to fit your exact need every single week. Like, um, a team of six every single week. On top of planning, it's just really, really difficult. So, genning them in is just a lot easier for these matches. Everyone knows that in Draft League um, that you gen them. Um, yeah, and it's just, just a thing there. Um, I'm getting more nervous. I'm getting very nervous. Just making sure he hasn't messaged me. Oh, that's the wrong thing to press entirely. Um, that. <laughs> just... Right, let's get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Right, that's a bit better. Um, but yeah, LDL G Max. I possibly am in the <laughs> the um top eight. Possibly. Um, at the minute, uh, at the time of recording this, at the time you're seeing this, I definitely will know whether I'm in G Max if, if I'm in or not. But at the time of recording this, um, the bottom, the top three are locked in, and the bottom three are locked out. But the ones that are from fourth, which I think is me down to uh, in fact even though i think it's only the top two so i think third and fourth even technically could not be in the finals um so yeah it's, it's definitely uh, a possibility that i will not be in there um but yeah we need i think the bottom three are locked in but yeah there's a there's a solid chance i get into playoffs but there's also a solid chance i don't get into playoffs um, it just depends on how other people's games goes. If, if I win, then I get into playoffs. If I lose, then I don't know if I get in playoffs. But we are now coming back to Mega. 
Back to Mega. See Moltres, Nihilego. Uh, no Tyranitar, which means this is definitely going for Trick Room. Um, so, I would kind of like... 100% this Trick Room coming my way. I really want to go Pelipper and Copper as my lead. And then I want to go Porygon. And I think... Hmm... Kingdra, I think, will possibly be slightly better. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. That's what I'm locking in. That's what I'm locking in. Um, I think we're going to go hard trick from here. I can definitely U-turn on the um, on Pelipper, on something. Um, but, yeah, we're going to see what happens here. We do have, obviously, Grassy Surge here, so Earthquake is less, less viable, but... You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's 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 just do this. So, battling squid, dustlops, and Moltres. Okay. So, dustlops could definitely. Oh, can dustlops? Okay. Sees so my Charlie Berry and my Life Orb. Okay, that's not amazing, but also not. Terrible. Uh, I would quite like to hurricane the uh, Dustlops here. In fact, no, I wouldn't, because I, if I get the confusion, that could be a problem. I think I want to U-turn. Do I want to U-turn? I think I'm going to hurricane the Moltres. And then I think I'm going to Dynamax. Am I going to Dynamax? I think I Dynamax, and I Max Rockfall into the Moltres again. Okay, goes with the Withdraw there. Goes out to Rillaboom. Okay, nice. So Grassy Surge is coming, or Grassy Surge is here. Uh, that's actually pretty bad for them in terms of the Rillaboom, because I'm going to get a free Hurricane off. And... That's going to sting a lot. That is really going to sting. In fact, that could... Well, actually, no, I haven't got any... Actually, no, I've got a little bit of special attack investment, so I could definitely be hitting the Rillaboot really, really hard here. That is... Oof. Okay, yep, solid, solid damage. Confusion, which, you know, is standard. Max Rockfall. Goes into the Rillaboom. Should take it out. Nice. We love to see it. We absolutely love to see it. Sandstorm. Not not the biggest problem. Um, having sand set up. Does go for the Trick Room there. Nice. I, I appreciate that. I do appreciate that. So they're both hit by the Sandstorm. I know this definitely could be hypnosis. Oh, that's. Mm. Oh no, sorry, that was that was the uh, max over recovery. Okay. Um. So, what do they decide to go for here? Do you go for the Moltres? Does Dustclops get ally switch? Don't know if Dust Clocks gets Ally Switch. I don't know. Does it? It probably does. Um. Do I Surf or Hurricane? I think I Hurricane into that spot. Oh God, it's got. It's got to have Ally Switch. I've not, I've not seen it used before. I think I have to risk it. I think I have to risk it. It does have ally switch. Oh my god. Oh, I should have risked it. I should have taken the risk. 100% should have taken the risk there. That does a lot to the dust lots though. That was a crit. That's why. That's why it does a lot to the dust lots. 
Okay, so Hurricane's not going to do much to it. It actually does a reasonable amount. Will-O-Wisp. Oh, that's a problematic. That is very problematic. But that being said, I, like... Um, I think he definitely ally switches again. He does ally switch again. I kind of just want to go for Surf here because Copper is, is like, in a bad in a badish position. So I go Surf, and I max Rock Fall into the Dustlot spot. Into the Dustlot spot. Okay, Dynamaxes the Moltres. See, I hate Ally Switch because it is it is games. It is games of Ally Switch. Um, there's probably a good chance we don't take out Moltres in one hit now. And it could be weakness policy. And if it's weakness policy, we could have a situation on our hands. Now, please, I switch. Max guard, okay. Wow, okay, pain split, nice. That is a really solid move. Does nothing, but fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, it doesn't hit the Pelipper though, annoyingly. Oh, I forgot about that. That's really quite frustrating, actually. <laughs> um, realistically, I rock slide here. Um, obviously, I run out of Dynamax. But I rock slide here to try and get a flinch on. I, actually, no, I don't think they can. They can't flinch. Um, I feel I use Hurricane again, and doesn't matter if it goes in the Moltres or not. And I rock slide because I think rock slide should still do a lot of damage to the Moltres. I think. I mean, it might not. Okay, that's annoying that the dust tops is gonna keep on doing that. Oh my god, that does nothing to the Moltres, wow. Okay. I would like to confuse the dust tops, please, but apparently that's not gonna happen. Max Flare. Setting up the sum. That is dead Copperaja, but But What does this mean? What does this mean? What does this mean? I could go Kingdra. And I could double surf it right here. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go double surf. <laughs> so surf. And surf. That's what I'm going to do. Just going to double surf. Two surfs. Surf's up. That's what I'm going for. I don't even know what I'm doing. Pain split again. That's annoying. It's really annoying. Doesn't do a horrendous problem for me, though. It does nothing to Moltres. Oh my god, it's so... Well, Moltres is just living everything. Max Airstream, okay. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> um... Why is Moltres so strong? Moltres is actually really good. It's actually really, really good. Dust, Dust Clops, like, this combination is deadly annoying. So we have still got... Oh, that's why, because we've got Sun. I'm an idiot. I'm actually an idiot. I don't think I get... Oh, no, I do get special attack rise. Okay. Right. Okay. What antics do I play here? I think I have to play Surf. Or do I play... I think I play Hurricane. On Moltres. And I'm gonna... Do I set... I, I think I set up another Trick Room. I set up Trick Room.
I think we lost this one. I think we have lost this one. Oh gosh. Interesting. Very interesting. Getting some passive damage on Porygon 2. Of course it misses. <laughs> of course it does. But I do get a trick room, which is nice. Um, I'm going to surf. And I'm going to Shadow Ball into the Moltres. Try and get rid of it. Okay, interesting play. Maybe expect an ally switch. So little to Moltres. The plus one, will this take it out? Probably not, realistically. Oh, it does. Good. Good. Oh, we're in a position now, boys. We're in a position to die. <laughs> like... Nihilego. Okay. Um... Nihai has really high special... It's going to go for a Rock-type attack, but it knows that I've got Charting. It knows that I've got Charty Berry. But is it going to be enough to take me out? I think I have to go for the damage on the knee high. I think I have to just try and take it as much as I can. I, I definitely... Oh, actually, no. That's going to take me out now, 100%. 100% now. That takes me out. Yeah, I misplayed that that turn, actually. I really misplayed that turn. That should do, like, 30%. Yeah, around that. Sludge Bomb. Okay, is that into, that is into Pelipper? Okay. Yeah, Pelipper goes down. Um, Beast Boost on there. Yeah, so... Realistically... Realistically, yeah, I'm done. Um, all I need to do is just click, quick, click Shadow Ball again. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recover first. And I'm going to see how much damage this does. Because there is a chance I can pull this off. Because I don't think the Dusclops can hit me. I don't think Dusclops can hit me. Power gem. How much does this do? A plus one. Oh, that does way more. Yeah. Oh, there's a crit. That was a crit. That's annoying. Um, because that was a crit, I do have to recover again. Hope for the best. Because the trick room is still up. The trick room is still up. But annoyingly, that crit kind of puts me in a position where I've got to recover again. Okay. What is the dust noir gone for? Maybe Taunt? Maybe it has Taunt? Right, Night Lego goes Sludge Bomb. That does so friggin' much. Dustclops... Okay, that was a solid play. That was a solid play to stop me um, from recover stalling, yeah. Um, yeah, no, that was... I Realistically, I legit think that crit might have... That crit might have actually changed this match. That crit, I think, definitely changed this match. Because that crit hadn't have come off, I would have just shadow balled the knee high. Although I probably would have gone down. So actually, yeah, like, I think... I don't know. I don't know. But that was definitely a... A solid match. Um, Squid definitely played really solidly there. Really, really solidly. Um... I don't know what I want to do this time. I actually don't know what I want to do this time. Um, play with the same rules. We've got the same team. Um, I definitely see the Moltres as being a problem. Um, I would kind of like... To lead with... K 
Kingdra and a Shifu. I think. Kingdra and a Shifu. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Kingdra and a Shifu. And in the back, Porygon 2, because it can still put in work. And I don't want... I'm going to set up my own reign. Could go Ludi. What does Ludi do here? Not enough. Copper is really solid here. As a kind of end of game. Especially with Porygon there. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with here. So we'll see. Loving the music. Absolutely loving the music. Right, what lead do they go with? Dracovish and Sylveon. Okay, that's a weakness policy, Dracovish. 110%. 110% that's weakness policy. I really need to max Wormins. The Dracovish. But actually, I'm going to max guys with the Sylveon. And I'm also going to poison jab the Sylveon. This could have been a really bad play. I could have made a really bad play there. Really, so I should have switched one. But I think... I think... This would be enough to take out Sylveon. Sylveon realistically quits it. Okay, Dracovish is um, jolly. So that's something to know. So we poison jab into... Okay, so the Sylveon will go down. Is that a healing berry or a stat increase? That's healing, okay. So Sylveon is gone. You're telling me that lived? There's no way it lived. A Max Geyser. It lived? What? You are joking. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Shifu's gone. But so is the so is the Sylveon. And that's a, a problem that's averted. Now it's figuring out what else they brought. I think Porygon 2 comes out now. What do they bring out? Dust Lops. Okay. Okay. Almost, I, I guarantee... I'm almost guaranteeing an ally switch here. Ally switch is just the, the play. It has to be the play. So I max where I'm into... Dustclops. And I think I'm going to actually ally switch myself. I haven't shown that off. But I think I'm going to ally switch myself. I think that's that's the play. I just hope he ally switches. If he doesn't, then we've got a big problem on our hands. I mean, lowering the attack of the Dracovish anyway is going to be helpful. He's really having to think about it. Really having to think about it. Dynamaxes, realistically, this has to be Vish. And it's probably going to be a rock type move. It's rock or dragon. Oh, I know actually no, it could still use Ally Switch. It could still use Ally Switch. 
Yes, yes, yes. Solid prediction. For once, with Ally Switch. I got it right once. But lowering the attack of Dracovish is actually pretty huge. Um, almost takes it out in one hit, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I do see like a rock type attack coming here, 100%. Okay, now goes for the Max Dragon attack as well. That hits Pori, does next to nothing. Doesn't matter. The attack going down does not matter. I Shadow Ball into the Dracovish slot. I think I Max Ooze into. Actually, no. Max Geyser is my play. Or Max Wereman. Max, Max Wereman is actually my play. Does the ally switch again? Is the question. I'd quite like to double. I think, uh, I think I'm going to double. And hope he doesn't ally switch. I hate ally switch. It's just the mind games. It is the mind games. It's horrible. Thank God. Thank God. Like, I made it. I made the right decision. Oh, that's good. That feels good. Twice in a row! I've never got this right. I never get... Never get it right. <laughs> I could definitely see a trick room being set up here. But you know, we've got Porygon 2 to get rid of that. Shadow Ball to the Dust Lots. That's going to do a fair amount. Um, <laughs> it, does a, it does a lot. Uh, what's the last Mon? It does use Trick Room. Realistically, I'll use Protect and get rid of Trick Room. Um, I don't think they have a fighting type of Mon, so... Yeah, I think I Trick Room and I Protect. That's what I do here. Because I don't think they've even... No, they have seen Trick Room and Paragon. If they Trick Room here, that would be an incredible move. If they Trick Roomed again. Paints it. Oh. Sludge Bomb. Oh, okay. Going double into the Kingdra there. So my Trick Room gets set up. Hold on, was the Nihoi slower? Okay, then... I really don't care if it goes for Ally Switch. In fact, going for Ally Switch here doesn't really make a difference at all, um, honestly. It just means the Nihai is going to take more damage. Um, realistically, the Kingdra is going to take a lot of damage in this turn. A lot of damage. But, I mean, you look at that, that's just destructive. Uh, goes into Porygon. Actually, that's that's fine. That's really fine. That means the... Oh, no, because the uh, Dustlops used tri uh, thingy. Yeah, that means we won. That means we win. Solid. Solid. Oh, I'm happy. I'm very happy. We, we won a match here. Um... I'm going to Dragon Pulse, because I don't really want to take out Porygon. Oh, oh the battle was cancelled. Okay, well, to be fair, he knew he was going to get taken down this turn. Um, although I didn't think he was supposed to cancel battle. But yeah, that looks like we go into the third match. Um, so, yeah, we, we could win. We could win. Will we win? Probably not. Um, but... I like that. I like that strategy. I like the strategy that I did there. Um, I think I go with this, uh, the same lead potentially. Potentially go for the same lead. Yeah, I think the same lead is the best option there. I think potentially I'll go for the exact same as I went for last time. 
So we go Kingdra, a Shifu, P2, a Copper. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm hedging my bet on. Yeah, I think this I think this is the way we work it. I think this is the way we do it. Hmm. I think, yeah, going for the same strategy this time. Um I'm not sure what item the Dracovish actually had. Maybe it was uh Fairy Reducing Berry for Tapu Lele. Oof, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Match three again. Getting in the match three. Um, they've got to be sweating as well. They've really got to be sweating. Because, um... Yeah, that is... Oh, This is match three. This, this, this matters. This matters for Squid. Not so much for me. I would quite like to go 2-7 two, two though, rather than 1-8. <laughs> like, okay, so what lead they go with? Dracovish and Sylveon again. They Dynamax Dracovish turn one here. They Dynamax Dracovish straight off. I kind of want to go into Copper. Yeah, let's go into Copper. And let's go for... Do we... No, I don't know if we do. I, I just... I don't know. I feel like I do the same thing again. But this time I'd like to max Wormint into Dracovish. And I'd like to Poison Jam Sylveon. Because I can bring Porygon 2 out and it can get rid of the Sylveon the next turn anyways. Sylveon goes Hyper Voice, 100%. And it probably was a roll the first time, not gonna lie. Although I have got a lot of HP investment. Uses Helping Hand, okay. This could definitely hurt. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Dracovish is down. Doesn't matter that Sylveon's attack has gone down. Uh, next, I think I want to bring in Copper. Yeah, I think Copper comes in. They bring Knee High in, okay. Or Nike, I don't know how you actually say it. Um, I want to max Geyser the Nihilego and Heavy Slam the Sylveon. That's what I'd like to do. Having to really think. Really think. Go to the withdraw, okay. Into Rillaboom. I mean, I get the rain set up, so I'm fine with that. I I can because I, I can deal. I've got the rain coming. That's okay. It's not a good thing, not a bad thing, but just okay. Hyper Voice, you know, we saw this before. I eat my berry, I don't take too much damage. Copper realistically doesn't take too much damage either. Um, and I get the Heavy Slam off and really break into um, the Sylveon here and probably take it out, honestly. Uh, yeah, we take it out good. 
Good. Um... So now what I do is I go max guys it into the knee high. Although the knee high probably is going to Dynamax. I need to max guys in the knee high. And I think I need to... Uh, oh no, I can't. Earthquake doesn't do enough damage. Um, do, I think I heavy slam the knee high as well. Because that's going to Dynamax. It's, it's risky to Dynamax it though. With me having super effective attacks. I'm going to heavy slam on the Rillaboom. What's Dynamaxing is the question. Probably the Rillaboom, actually. No, it is the knee high. Okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. Max oozing, probably. Okay, fake out. That actually is okay. It's not the worst thing in the world. This should do, hopefully, like, 50-ish. Yeah, nice. Max Starfall. Oh, okay. Okay. I see you. I see you doing that. What does Starfall do? Sets up a different terrain. That's actually beneficial. That's actually really beneficial. Right. Okay, I protect Kingdra. Or do I? Kingdra goes down this turn, and turn anyways. So I'm going to Dragon Pulse into Rillaboom. And I'm also going to Earthquake. But I think actually that might have been a misplay. I should have... Max Overgrowth. Okay, that's into... Oh, that's into Copper. Okay. So set... Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. Although four times... Now, did you go... Obviously, a fighting-type attack is what I'm assuming. Grassy Glide. That's going into Kingdra. Okay. Kingdra's down. That's fine. That's okay. Nihil goes down, I think. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, I do take damage... Now, we do get to see if this has a fighting type attack. My special attack rises. I think I just Shadow Ball. I think I just Shadow Ball when I Heavy Slam. That's the move I make here. High horsepower. Ouch. Yeah, that's going to take me out. Okay. Now, let's hope he, if he doesn't have the... Um, dark type movie doesn't have drain punch then I think we're pretty golden that doesn't do much though <laughs> if he has drain punch we're in a we're in a stalemate for a little bit he doesn't have the he doesn't have the oh that does a fair amount though doesn't have the healing move The rain stops. Gonna get a little bit of recovery now. Realistically, he needs, like, a crit here. In fact, he might need two crits. He might need two crits to win here. This is intense. This is da this is down to the knuckle. Okay, he, he cancelled it. Okay, so, um, I think... Yeah, he, he knew he needed crits there to win. Um... But yeah, GG's, dude. Honestly, I didn't expect to win that. Did not expect to win that one bit. But GG's, yeah. Um, honestly, that last battle was intense. Uh, it, it went either way. It went. It could have gone either way there. But yeah, that's... 
that's awesome. Um, yeah, we got we got a second win, which is real fun. Um, exciting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed that. It's been a really long match, but I hope I've redeemed myself. But yeah, GG. Uh, I had a really enjoyable game. I really like you made me really really think. And that's something I haven't I haven't done the last few weeks, I don't think. Like, I haven't had to really, like, consider exactly how I'm going to win. Because I haven't bothered with that. But yeah, GG, dude. Um, that's all I've got for today. So please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out here. Send so a good one, and I'll see you soon.